What is going on guys, Snickel here, and today I have another Platinum Trophy video for you guys. Today I'm going to be getting the Platinum Trophy in ski Do Snowmobile Challenge for the PlayStation 3. Now the last trophy that I do have to get is Double Front Flip, which is to perform a double front flip. There are a few places that you can do this in the game, and I found one of the easier, if not the easiest places to do it on one of these maps. And I'm also going to do the Double Back Flip, and also the Full Adrenaline Trophy, just because I was able to do those all within a certain time period. So anyway, with all that being said, let's get right into this video. I was live streaming this over on Twitch. I do live stream all my Platinum Trophies and various other games over there. So if you want to go follow me, there's a link down in the description below. Anyway, the trophy that we're going for right here is to stay in Adrenaline for 60 seconds. Now, I thought originally that what you had to do for this trophy was you essentially just had to use Adrenaline and be in it for like a total of 60 seconds. It turns out that you actually have to stay in Adrenaline for 60 full seconds. Now, it's actually not that too not too bad if you use this one stunt course where it's basically an oval, and then you could just hold Adrenaline and keep going off these two jumps to get your Adrenaline back, essentially. And then I just left it. I went until, basically, I won the event. I got the score limit on the event, and it ended up being plenty more than enough time. So if you guys don't know anything about this game, this is one of those crappy PS3 games that I'm, you know, I just enjoy so much. One of my one of my favorite genres of games is crappy PS3 games, and uh, this is actually not too bad of a game. It's not too well known, but it's actually not that bad of a game, and overall, from like a trophy perspective, it's a very easy game as well. So, not bad game easy game when it comes to trophies so all in all I think that it's a decent game if you can find it it's kind of hard to find because it is a rarer game but if you are able to find it then uh, I would suggest to pick it up um, there is online I do want to make note of that so that that's something that you might have to keep an eye out for if uh, you do pick it up but the trophies are easy enough I think there's just two or three of them and they're extremely easy you can just do it with one other person so there we go we end up uh, Finishing that event, we get Adrenaline Junkie, which is to stay in Adrenaline for 60 seconds, and then we'll also get the other one, uh, Boostaholic. Actually, the first one was for staying in for 30 seconds. Boostaholic was to stay in for 60 seconds. So there we go. We got that. And playing all throughout the game, I wasn't really using Adrenaline at all. I would get it every once in a while, but for the most part, I was just playing through the game, winning the races and doing what I needed to do, and it really wasn't anything too crazy, and you didn't really need the Adrenaline. There were some parts through the game where it was frustrating me a little bit just because the AI would rubber band pretty hard at some points but at other points they didn't rubber band it didn't really make sense to me how the AI really works when it comes to what they were doing because it, it was annoying you know you would come across a, a race and you would be winning the whole race and then you would come across another race and you wouldn't dominate even though you had a new uh, snowmobile and you had all this new stuff the the ai would still somehow rubber band so here we go we're setting up the double backflip and double front flip so in order to do that you want to get a character that has certain traits so you can pick the one that i picked and then the course that i picked is just the big open course that you use for one of the uh the stunt challenges and when i was originally going for there was another trophy i was going for which was to stay airborne for five seconds there was another jump that i was trying to use on this course and it turns out that that jump was just not as good as uh as this other one that I found throughout here, all the other stunt courses, they have jumps and everything, but they're really not sufficient. This is really the only course um, that has jumps and things that gives you the ability to do stuff like double front flips, double back flips, staying in the air for five seconds. So here we go. From the start here, we're just going to head over. Um, there's not really directions or anything, but we're just going to head the direction that I'm going. There's going to be like a... Uh, um, like a thing to clear like a uh, snow out over here, but it's like caked in right there that thing right there um, Like a snowplow type uh, type deal and then there's this one jump right here and you literally can go off this jump You'll get air I'm pretty sure you can get five seconds of air here and you can do your double front flips and double back flips here as well Really anything else that was a really bad jump The one thing that I noticed when I was doing the double front flip and the double back flip off this jump was to not jump Beforehand because there is a jump button. It can help you when you're going off of jumps smaller jumps to kind of get um, more air I realized on this one that you really don't even have to press the jump button in order to go off this Like if you just go off this and you don't press the jump button You'll get plenty more than enough air and you'll have plenty more than enough time. So there's our double backflip 
which will fill our adrenaline up. You don't need adrenaline for this either. When you're going for the five second, you know, midair trophy, I, I think adrenaline is probably the better way to go just because you want to get as much air as possible. But for this, we don't need as much air as possible. We, we need to be a little more controlled. We obviously want some air, but we don't want to go too crazy with it. So here we go. Let's head over here. Let's do our double front flip and we'll be out of here. We'll get our platinum and move on. So here we go. Same jump, same way, same air. We'll do a double front flip. It actually pointed the camera down, which was really nice so I could see what I was doing. There we go. There's our double front flip. It was easy as that. So we should get our trophy here, double front flip, and then we'll get our platinum trophy, which is just called platinum. Wasn't really planning on doing this game. I've had it for a while, but I'm glad to get it done. But anyway, let's take a look at this list. Here it is, 100% with a Platinum, no DLC or anything, and all in all, the trophy list is very easy. As long as you're beating every race throughout the career mode, and you you beat the stunt challenges with at least a minute and a half left on the time, then you'll get everything done in the career mode, and then everything else is very easy. You'll just get it while you're uh, doing some other things, and, you know, they're just trick trophies, like random trick trophies, a double front flip, double back flip, you know, random adrenaline trophy, but all in all, the random trophies are super easy. You should get most of them as you're just playing through the career mode anyway here's the profile here trophy level 41 85 percent got 10,873 total trophies i've got 7,502 bronze 2,388 silver 829 gold 154 platinums like i said 10,873 total trophies if you're into that numbers kind of stuff and here's the platinum trophy itself just called platinum so if you are able to find this game i would highly suggest picking it up just because it's a super fun game it's kind of a rare game to find and all in all, it's really easy. I'm usually not one to like hop on the bandwagon for like easy games, but when you have like obscure ones like Ski Do, I don't think that it's really that bad if it's like a super easy game. If you wanted to, theoretically, you could probably do this whole game in less than a day. It's super easy. Like I, 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 I can't say it enough. I really can't say it enough. But not only is it easy, but it is also a good game as well for what it is. It's a super early PS3 game, so it's not going to be the best looking game if you're used to looking at PS4 games or anything like that. It, it is going to be a little muddy and you're probably not going to enjoy looking at it, but all in all, like the physics of the game are good for what it is um, for a snowmobile game. So I, I can't really knock on it there. So if I had to rate this out of 10 for a difficulty, I'm going to give this like a 2 out of 10. Very easy. Time to get the Platinum, probably like 10 to 15 hours max. Max is 15 hours. The career mode can drag on a little bit, but you can fly through the races. Like I said, the rubber banding of the AI can get a bit annoying. Also, when you are playing through the game, be sure that when you're playing through the career that you don't spend any money until you get $50,000 because there is a trophy for that. But you can upgrade your uh, snowmobiles, I think, throughout that process, so it should make it a little easier. I was using, like, the standard snow snowmobile for, like, half of the career mode, and I think that's why I was having issues with the AI kind of rubber banding on me. But then there was just, it was weird. Like, some races were really, really, really easy, and I would just, like, win by a mile. And then other races... Um, even ones that like uh, preceded the ones that I was doing, you know, I wouldn't win by that much and it would be a really close race or the AI would rubber band and catch up to me. It was really strange. It was super strange. So if you are able to find the game, I would highly suggest picking it up. Um, but anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down in the comments below. Let me know if you guys have played this game. If you've never heard of it, if you plan on picking it up now that you've seen this, do let me know down there in the comments below. Down in the description below, you'll find links to all types of stuff, my Twitter, my Twitch, other videos like this. So if you want to go check any of that stuff out, I would greatly appreciate it. Like I said, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing for more trophy content like this. And I hope to see you all around sometime soon.